All right, welcome everybody. Here we are at a recent renovation. That's the lovely Miss India War. It is a cold Michigan day, but we figured we would use this property because we're getting ready to renovate it as a good example for the course. So this is a property in Allen Park, Michigan, and it's gonna be a full renovation. And so we'll just take you guys through very briefly the before and after. So property like this, obviously as we get into the property, we're going to be repairing this front deck that we have here, making that look nice, repairing any rotted boards, um, repairing any concrete trip hazards, things like that as well too. Um, the inside of the property, we'll go through the outside and make sure all the lights match and are consistent throughout. We've got this front door here that's going to get um, replaced, uh, as well as the screen door and the address to the property. So that is a nice, um, consistent, sharp look throughout. So you guys can see as we come in, we've got here the uh, original tile, which goes into hardwood. Uh, and then we've got this wall that we kind of walk into here as well. And then let's go ahead and get inside and take a look. And then we've got another wall that separates the kitchen um, from the living space. So today's trends, um, people like nice big open floor plans. And so one of the things that we're going to do is we're gonna remove that wall that you guys see there, separating the kitchen into the living space. And then we're gonna also remove this wall so that it's a nice open entry and it flows throughout, okay? So um, in this property, we're gonna have to repair some of the floor um, footprint there where that wall is taken out. And then we're gonna kind of downsize this tile here, make it a nice kind of um, tile entry. We're going to keep the hardwood throughout. We do have some staining there that might be an issue. Um, so if we can't get that out, we'll look at alternative flooring solutions. But the number one goal is to try to keep and refinish this hardwood flooring that we have in here. Um, and we're gonna keep it a nice, neutral, natural look. Um, I believe Miss India, who's standing here with me, <laughs> has decided to do a gray palette in this house. So we're gonna yes. do a gray color theme throughout versus a brown color theme. Um, and so we talked about removing this wall. When you remove this type of a wall, you're going to have the um, header that has to be redone. And so that's something you gotta take into consideration. And then when you're dealing with an old house like this, you have the plaster that you have to take into consideration as well because you have this big, beautiful plaster work that's kind of done and it's like an arc. It's not just straight up and down and that's hard to replicate uh, nowadays as well too. So you have to take that in consideration when you remove those um, and how to repair them. But in the kitchen, obviously all new tile floor throughout. Um, these cabinets are going to be extended. That's gonna add a lot of value to this property. We're gonna extend them out to right about where this wall is now. Um, and it's gonna extend that countertop out as well too, given the new homeowner and a small kitchen like this, a lot of um, countertop space and storage space as well. So uh, you guys might be asking to yourself, well, Dylan, that window sits lower than the countertop. So there's two ways to do it. We can have the countertops tiered where they go below that window, or we can actually replace that window with a smaller one, re-brick it, redo the siding, and then have that be a nice, consistent flow throughout there. Uh, the way that we're going to do it is we're not gonna get involved in that. We're going to just have it be a tiered countertop, drop below that window, and come over as well too. Um, and then these cabinets are actually in very, very nice shape, as you guys can see. However, we're going to recondition them to be white cabinets and add some hardware. Um, so white's going to make this small kitchen really pop and look much larger than it is. They're going to look like they were came out of the factory that way. You guys won't even be able to tell the difference. And then we're going to put in a nice quartz countertop that goes all the way around through here with a nice tile backsplash as well too. We're gonna to add hardware to the cabinetry um, and we are going to uh, put in an undermount sink with a nice pull-out faucet and all the goodies as well too. You guys notice we'll put in a stainless steel 
uh, dishwasher over here. And then um, we are gonna put in a stainless steel uh, hood van or hood fence as well too. The appliances are in pretty good shape. Um, we're gonna see what these look like when the kitchen's all said and done. Uh, if they look like crap, we're going to toss the appliances. Uh, you guys have heard me talk about in the courses before, I don't keep appliances um, in, or, or offer them in my renovations. The properties sell just as quick without appliances and I save myself two or 3,000 uh, bucks. It's been my experience in past renovations that people will take the nice new appliances that we put in and toss them and replace them with their own anyways. And so the only appliances that we will put in are the microwave, the new microwave, and the new dishwasher. Um, and if these look good, they can stay. If they don't, they will go, okay? And then we're gonna make our way out here down the hallway. Obviously, new fixtures throughout the property, new lights. Uh, we'd like to stick with a nickel theme throughout. Um, all new six panel doors are gonna go out through, through the property. And then the doors will have nice new hardware on them. And you guys can see this old hardware that's here. We even replace all of that with nickel hardware. Cause see that paint and everything that's get caked on them over time really looks like crap. And so we replace that in addition to all of the uh, incense, insets as well too. So that it's nice new nickel. Uh, and those little finishes go a long ways. While we're here, we're gonna also talk about replacing all the electrical outlets so that they're consistent throughout. Nice, white, bright outlets um, and faceplate covers. And then we also replace all of the register vents as well too. And it's those little features that you guys hear me talk about in the course all the time that really make this look like a, make it pop without you even thinking about it. It looks like a new construction house. And then we run a nice bead of caulk around those register vents looks really really sharp and so we do that throughout the house as well too so let's make our way back here bedrooms nothing much to do here the doors will be changed the walls will be repainted the register vents the outlet interior the closet that type of stuff this door here this pocket door we're going to leave and repair you can also seal it in and make it just a normal wall we elected not to do that um, and then you guys will see here we've got some fogging in the windows and some broken screens. Um, so we will have a window come up, company come out, replace the um, seals, and then we'll get the screens repaired. Uh, the reason why you wanna do that, obviously other than just aesthetics, is that most buyers, especially in the marketplace we're in right now, are buying FHA. And FHA is going to cite that and want you to repair it before you close as well as too. So if you have any cracked windows, or any fog windows, um, they've got to get replaced in the renovation. That's what you look for before you buy the house. This is the backyard you guys can see here. Not much we can do in a Michigan winter because of the temperature. So we will go ahead and replace any rotted boards on that decking. Um, there's the hot tub, which has been winterized, as well as the in-ground pool as well too. So not much we can do in the winter time. Um, if FHA does have an issue with some of the paint on that decking, then we just go ahead and escrow that paint uh, for the new buyer for repairs in the summertime. Okay, so we're gonna make our way. There's not much to do or talk about in the bedrooms. This is another bedroom here. You guys like that nice green color? And here we're keeping that green color, right? Absolutely. Yeah, that's a hot seller. <laughs> so, no, we're not. It's gonna be a nice big pink, nice color throughout, all consistent, all the same, neutral colors. You guys can see we have some more seals broken here um, in this window as well too, so those would get replaced. Uh, new closet doors, all of that. So, same here, another bedroom. Simple, simple, simple. So you guys will see what this property looks like when it's all said and done. And then we've got the lovely bathroom, which we're not doing anything with. We're gonna leave it, so let's move on. <laughs> no, just you. joking. Okay, so we'll do a nice, simple thermostat. Don't do the complicated programmable ones because people will screw it up. Um, so we do the simple non-programmable thermostats. Um, and then the bathroom, we have a very small bathroom. And so one of the things that we're gonna do in here is a new vanity with a custom countertop um, so that we can maximize the space that's in here. We're going to remove that mirror and put up a nice simple framed mirror 
that will just sit over the sink, new light as well, a new toilet, new flooring, and then you've got the bathtub, all of that stuff. Okay, we're gonna reglaze this tile. And it's gonna look really nice, guys. Don't over renovate for the area. A lot of people come in and spend a lot of money on doing stuff they don't have to. And Allen Park is not an area where we have to tear all this tile out and completely redo it. And so you guys are gonna see that a lot of this tile in here is gonna get reglazed, including the bathtub. And it's gonna be a nice two-tone, meaning that top that you see black now is gonna be a nice color all the way around. Is that green is going to be a new color as well too. So we can salvage the tile that's in here. It's going to sell very well in this neighborhood. New fixtures and of course and all the bathtubs um, and then the new uh, shower head as well too. Okay so this is pre-demo. Demo is going to start um, Monday. Today is what is today? India do we know? Friday. Today is, today is Friday. Um, so a couple days, this whole place is going to be gutted. So um, let's go ahead and head downstairs now. You guys can see what we're working with. So all this is going to get repainted. The um, carpet on the stairs is going to come off, and we're going to repaint the stairs the color of the basement floor, which is going to be redone as well, too. So we've got it's really dark down here, so I don't know how well this is going to work. But, oh, it's actually showing up pretty good. We've got a nice finished basement. It's dark down here because they painted the walls very dark as well. So one of the things that we're gonna do in here is obviously redo the electrical, make it consistent throughout, redo the light, and then we're going to take all of these ceiling tiles, repair any that have issues, repaint them um, bright white, and then paint these. Uh, oh, India, can you turn on the lights to the other room as well too? Um, and then we're going to repaint these walls a nice light color for a dark basement so that it's nice and light down here um, as well, too. So it'll look a lot better. Um, that carpet will be ripped out of there. See the color of the wall now in that closet? It's pretty much what the basement wall color is going to be. And then we're going to paint this floor um, gray, a nice gray throughout as well, too. We're not going to add carpet down here. If the homeowner wants to add carpet later on, they are welcome to do that. I'm not a big fan, um, especially in this area. There's some moisture um, in basements like this, and I'm not a big fan of putting carpet back in. So we leave that to the homeowner um, to take care of if they want. But be a nice, consistent floor throughout. Um, and the walls are going to be, and you guys can already see from this video, how much more light is added to and will reflect off of these walls once they're repainted. So um, do redo some railing on the stairs as well. And then we've got a bathroom down here that we're not going to do much with. This flooring will all be taken out. That tile will be taken out. It'll be the same color as the flooring throughout the basement. We're just gonna clean it up, repaint the ceiling tiles, replace any that need to be redone. We're gonna leave that vanity, leave the mirror, clean them up nice, clean that toilet up, Clean this shower up that you guys see here. Put a new shower head on top of it as well. And then we've got a bonus feature. We've got a nice sauna down here. So we're going to leave this guy and make sure that everything is working and operational. But uh, we've got a nice full sauna. We'll leave that tile on there, get this cleaned up, make sure that heating element's working. And this will be a nice feature for a homeowner as well, too. And then we will move last into the, uh, what is this, the laundry room area. Are we missing a light here? Yeah, that one's out. So in here, you guys will see we've got updated electrical. This floor will be the color floor. Is the rest of the basement. We'll redo this wall with new pegboard. So homeowner could add storage in there as well too. We won't paint 